Well, hell, I'm damned if I can find anything wrong with it. Yes. It's puzzling. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this before. Hello, Ken Spriggs here with part 10 of my 2001 discovery build. A uh, lot of great progress on the uh, interior to the pod bay. Pretty much completed all of the detailing and um, getting ready to start putting that all together. So uh, I completed the floor and the pod bay, or the pod, I'm sorry, the pod platforms, including one that extends. And, uh, and the best thing I completed, which I really like, is the little uh, control console, or I guess they call it the workbench, that you just saw them uh, working on the AE35 unit. Uh, and as Dave says, um, damned if I can find anything wrong with it. <laughs> so uh, I'm really pleased with how it turned out. Uh, I created a, a photo etch one at first, which wasn't bad, and I'll show you that here, but I wasn't real happy with it, so I decided to scratch build one myself. So it turned out really well, which uh, we'll see here shortly. So let's see how far uh, I've completed it. And, uh, and it won't be long now. I'll start uh, being able to put the whole interior together and get the lights on it. All right, let's take a look. All right, and there's the nearly finished floor section. As I showed in the previous stills, I cut out those little pieces of styrene and I used some very thin stripping to put an edge around them. It's kind of hard to see them now that they're flat black, but you can kind of see it there. And I glued them down onto the, the metal after I painted them flat black. So um, I just have to come up with a completion of the control panel, which I began over here. Started folding it and gluing it. Just have to figure out a way to get a light once this is all folded. This little piece right here is a tiny little light for how little fiber optic for that and the little teeny TV screen. All right. And then this will be painted as well and then glued into the center of this right here. And then I'll just put the decal over it. Right there. Once I cut out those um, those raised sections and the pieces I cut out, I'll, I will then apply on top of these to give that little orange square on the top. Okay. All right, so that's just about completed. All right, and here's the, uh, the decal onto the floor. And I also put those little sections in there with the orange parts, as I said before. Alright, so that floor turned out pretty well. There's a few minor issues like that little piece right there, which I can either I'll probably just paint over with some flat black and and make it look better. Uh, there's a few little bubbles in some small spots, but you can't really see it. So I'm really not gonna worry about it. Uh, mostly it turned out really well. It went down good. Now the thing I did learn about this though, is that uh, this decal is not white backed, it's clear backed. And what that means is you have to paint white under it or apply, apply it over white or you're, you're not gonna see any white. Like those lines in between, they're only white because that part of the decal is clear and you see the white paint underneath. Likewise with those yellow little squares, when I first tried to apply them, I couldn't see it at all. It just disappeared into the black paint. So I had to put some white underneath it so that it would show through. And then the black covers up the white. So I do have that in there where it's supposed to be. All right, so that's ready to go. And there's the raised, the raised floor. You're not gonna see a ton of it, but it has enough cool detail that it's gonna look nice in the kit. Uh, so what I'm working on then also, as I said, is the, the little console. And I've got it 
glued together. And I did come up with a lighting scheme I'll show you here in a minute. What I'm doing right now is I'm, I just put a, a paint coat of white on it with a brush. I'm not that worried about it because I'm going to go ahead and use the decal that came with it. Just because it's going to be hard to paint some of this detail. And you're really not going to see it that much, so I didn't want to fuss with it that much. So I'm just going to apply this decal. And just like I said, if I don't have white behind it, none of these colors, none of the lighter panels are going to show through. So I'm going to let that dry, and then this will cover it all up, and it'll look just like this black and the different colors in it. So, okay. All right, and there's the decal on the completed control panel. And as you can see, I have it lit up. I'm just holding the battery there. And like I said, it's a it's not <clears throat> it's not that washed out in real life. Just the camera does that to it. So okay. All right, so that's all completed and wired and self-contained so the light is all inside of it the bottom you won't see that but okay so that's all ready to go let me set that down there I also finished up and repaired the floor so that one little piece right there I just took a took the second one this kit this um, decal set comes with two of them two of everything which is great so if you make a mistake like I did uh, I didn't take the old one off, I simply just cut out a new one and put it over top of it. And it was thin enough that you can't even hardly notice. Alright, so that looks excellent. And the control panel is ready to go. And I have a little hole drilled in there to stick it through, as you can see. Through the bottom. And then this goes on top of this piece that's then used to, uh, to put some square rod through to extend out the pod platforms and I'm thinking I'm pretty much certain I'm gonna have these two on the left side coming out the other two are gonna just be solid you can only have one of them that extends and I have the square tube that's the same size as this and a thinner one that goes inside of it uh, and I just put a little bit of detail on there with some styrene which you're really not gonna see that much I taped off the top which is gonna get glued on the bottom of there so I can get some paint on it. I'm probably gonna do like a German gray. All right. All right, so I started working on the, um, the platforms for the pods and uh, the part that goes underneath it. So here is the, the flat pod section and there's a round circle that goes on it that has little grid marks in it. And it's just one thin piece. So they give you these pieces here that you fold and they're supposed to uh, glue underneath it. And then this, um, the front of it has like those ridges on it so it looks a little more finished. And there's three little slots and there's some little groove parts that go in there as well. Uh, and then this folds up as you can see. And the very bottom, if you can see it, has two little pieces that I folded out and they're designed to accommodate the square stock that you use to extend it. So here's my square stock. I have a thick piece and a thin or a smaller piece and one fits inside the other. So the smaller piece is what goes right there between those two pieces. So it'll be glued onto it. Um, but I wanted to kind of make these a little more substantial because with just this when you fold it around, you're going to be gluing a thin little tiny edge onto the bottom of this. And that's just going to be hard to do and not very sturdy. So I cut out some styrene. Here's the first piece I did. And I sanded it to be the right size. And then I just traced around it to make two more for the other two. So this will just go on like this. Give a little more substantial piece that I can not only glue the the, the uh, photo etch tube, but this part under here is what's going to glue the bottom of this. Give me a, a much better surface to be able to do that. So, okay. So I have one of these completed. I have two more drawn out. 
let me go ahead and get that glued together and see how that's going to look. All right. And here is the first completed uh, pod platform. I have the little disc with the groove lines in it on top, the two little bars that come out the sides, and then I glued that, uh, that support piece on the bottom that I have a piece of plastic inside to make it more solid. And then you have those two little notches sticking down where the the rod can slide into and glue in place and then uh, the pieces that go on the front are enormously tiny <laughs> let me show you here oh my goodness there we go uh way too tiny <laughs> way too tiny to try to work with i tried to fiddle with them but they were just too small and if even if I did get them glued on you wouldn't even be able to see them very well so instead I just cut out get a good focus on there I just cut out some thin pieces of styrene some triangles as you can see and just glued them on there instead so that will all blend together once I get it painted black these are all going to be black all right so that one's ready to go. I am going to do just a little bit more of some piping right around the back and the side edges of this in the movie. Uh, I'll show you a picture here in a moment. But they have um, just the slightest little bit of piping, so I'm going to put that in there too, just to add to it. And then uh, when this is all done, let me show you my little pod. Okay, here we go. Pods it sits right like that. Nope. Okay, it's kind of hard to see it, and it's, this isn't painted yet, so it's hard to tell. But the pod's going to sit right on there like that. Okay, and um, I'm only going to extend. I'm only going to make the left side extendable and I'm going to have a pod attached to it and a hole drilled through it so I can run the light for the fiber optic into it. Uh, the center one is going to be empty because that pod is outside of the ship uh, with the little little figure of uh, Frank Pohl in its claws which I showed earlier in my videos. Uh, and that's going to be on its own stand and just kind of facing off the Discovery. Uh, the right side, I'm going to have a pod on it, and that is not going to extend, and that door is not going to open either. So when I'm done, only the, the center door and the left door are going to open, and the left pod is going to extend. And the center one, the door is going to open, and you'll be able to see through that empty, empty pod uh, platform uh, a nice shot of the whole pod bay. And that's mainly what I want to do, so... Okay, all right, so I'm working with the square rod a bit and getting ready to test a few pieces to attach it onto there, figure out the sizes, the lengths I need to have, and then I'll start working on the other two as well, and also on this to get this set up to accommodate these also. All right. And we finished all three of the pod platforms. They're all completed. With my extra styrene in the middle. And I drilled a hole through the one that's going to be on the left side for the bottom. And that's going to accommodate basically just a wire, <clears throat> which will come up for a light that will light the fiber optics inside of the pod. And the pod will be attached onto this permanently. So, okay. And I started. Oh, go back a little bit. I'm getting ready to start uh, putting the the uh, square rod onto these and putting them through 
and gluing them in place or having them <coughs> positioned in place. Uh, I did a little more detailing on this bottom part, which you're still not really going to see a ton of it, but I just put some separators between each of the pods, the pod sections, because they really do go down further. So when this goes on, you're going to have separated sections in between. And I didn't take them all the way out, but uh, it will give it a little more of a detail in there. So, okay. All right. So the next thing I need to do is get this bottom part painted before I start putting things in permanently. I have to give this a paint coating. I'm still debating. Um, I want to look at the stills a little bit more. I was thinking of something dark, like a dark gray or even a neutral gray. But uh, to make it kind of offset from the black floor, I might consider just doing white down in there. So let me look at those still some more and then we'll get a coat of paint on this. Once again, I have some tape on the top so that doesn't get painted since that will glue on the bottom of the floor. Okay. Okay, so I went with a... Um, a medium gray uh, that Tamiya XF 53 I'm sorry neutral gray so it's darker but not real dark <clears throat> so you'll see some some minor detail down there but it won't be totally black and I took the the tape off the top there's the bare metal and I have started gluing on some some stripping uh, in order to raise up the brass square tubing that I'm going to be putting through there. Uh, and it's, it's just going to come through the front just a little bit. And those are going to be glued in permanently. And as you can see by the lines, only two of them, this one and this one, for the left side, are long, so they'll be able to accommodate a longer tube. So the... the um, the platform can be extended. The center one and the other one, the right one, is not going to be extendable. They're not going to be extendable, so they're only really short. But they still need a piece of tubing in order to put the thinner tubing through on the on top of the pods. Focus on that, but it's much thinner. There we go. Okay. So those are drying. Once they do, I cut out some lengths of the thicker tube. And you can see the varying lengths right here, here, and here that are going to be glued onto those. And the one there in the middle, I had to cut a notch out of it because that's the hole that the wiring comes through for the electronic, uh, for the control panel in the center of it. So I can fish it out through there. All right. Let me let that dry and then we'll go ahead and get the, um, the thicker brass tubing glued in place. Okay. And here is the, um, the larger brass tubing, square tubing glued in place, the different sections. The only ones sticking out the back are those two there. There are holes in the back that they can go through just to give them enough length. I can always cut those down if I need to. Uh, and then there they are sticking through the front just a little bit. And once this dries, I'll put a little bit of that neutral gray paint on there. Or maybe even some black, we'll see. Just to get rid of that brass color. All right, so I'll let that dry. Let me go ahead and just temporarily put one of these together and put that on there and show you how that's gonna look. All right, and I have that one uh, just stuck into there temporarily. I'm just holding the floor on there. You can see that just matches up evenly with the floor. All right, let me go ahead and pull that out and I'll show you how that's going to extend. Right there you go. And I'm doing this with one hand while I'm filming it, so I couldn't uh, show you extending that on its own, but there we go. And of course, this will be painted black and the, the rods will be painted as well. Uh, the only thing I'm hoping that doesn't happen is if I paint those rods if you slide them in and out of there, the paint's going to kind of wear off of there. So we're going to have to see 
what I can come up with. Maybe I'll actually use some real grease, which it really would have to lubricate that, but we'll see. I don't want it to be all messy on the model, but, but that's pretty cool. There we go. So that's coming along well. Just about ready to get these glued on. Once I get these glued in place, then I'll paint them black before I stick them inside. And the, the center one and the, the right one are going to be glued in permanently. So once I get those painted, I'll glue them in there. All right. All right, so I showed previously in the video my control panel that I made from the photo etch and I put the decal on it and it's not terrible, but I, it's kind of choppy looking. It's, it's kind of tricky getting some of this fire, uh, not fiber optic, um, photo etch glued together. So it was kind of a rough connection. Uh, so I decided to try my hand at a scratch built one and uh, I'm going to see if that works out before I take the light out of this one and uh, and put it into there. So I took some styrene, styrene sheet, and I drew off the, the basic design of it, like the back and the, um, sorry about that, the front of it and the sides. And then I beveled the top of it, as you can see, Put some thin styrene on top of that and I have the little opening there for the control in the back of it and then I cut out that little notch in the right side of it so it looks pretty decent and once again it's just a plain flat plastic so I can put the spare decal on it and then it'll just go right onto here all right so I'm going to finish that up a bit uh, I'm just going to leave it white styrene because the decal, as I showed earlier, has uh, clear backing. So when you put it over white, the black will show up black and the, the colored parts will show up the proper colors and the whites and that kind of thing. So, All right, so let me get that worked on and hopefully get a little cleaner looking control panel. Since it's going to be right in the middle of the pod bay, you're going to see it fairly easily. I want to make sure that it looks nice and clean and crisp. All right. Okay, so I uh, put a light onto this. Uh, it's going to work out fine. So I tried taking the light out of the other one and I broke it. Uh, <laughs> story of my life with these tiny little lights. Uh, once you get them in there pretty firmly, you're not really going to get them back out because you end up breaking the wire or breaking the little LED off of it. So. So I got another one and um, I tried sticking it inside, but it was not enough, really enough room for it. So I drilled a hole through the back of the piece I made and I just used some electrical tape and I just taped it on the back because you're not going to see that. That's going to be in the back and you're never going to see the back of it. Um, and then it was still a bit bright. So I took a little bit of vellum paper that I showed uh, earlier in one of the videos. Let me show you a piece of that. Let's see, where is that at? Uh, sorry about that. There you go. Uh, you can get it in hobby stores. I just get it at Hobby Lobby. All it is really is like a translucent paper. And it is just paper, but it's almost plasticized. And, and it's really nice at diffusing light. So I've used it for quite a lot of kits like that. So I just cut a little teeny piece of it off. And I... Um, I glued it into the back of this so it diffuses the light just enough and then what I came up with for the um, for the little display and the little how is I just took a little teeny piece of the black UV resistant styrene and on the right there you can see I drilled a little hole with a um, with one of my pin vices and put some red behind it and then I drilled out the left side and I just squared it out with an exacto knife to give it that little monitor look and it's blue and the back of this is backed with a piece of thin styrene clear styrene and that's glued on and then I just put some of the paint right on top of it so there's the blue on the right the red on the left uh, and I just used Tamiya clears 
and let that dry. So let me go ahead and put that in there and show you how that's going to look. And the, uh, the black UV resistant plastic does its own blocking, so I don't have to worry about painting that. All right, so let me put that in and I'll show you what that's going to look like. All right, so that's washing out quite a bit, but uh, let's see if I can darken that a bit. There we go. Okay, but it looks pretty distinct. You can see the little red how dot in the blue screen to the left. It looks pretty cool. So it doesn't look that bright or that washed out like the camera does to it. Uh, and then I'll have to glue some stripping around the sides of it to to, um, to get that to be blocked as well. Okay, and then all I have to do is put the, the decal on and then uh, paint some black over the parts that the decal doesn't cover. Okay. Alright, so I have that glued in place. I put a top onto it and uh, painted the sides of it. It's kind of hard to get a close up with the light because it just kind of washes out in the camera. Okay, but it does look really distinct. To the right side you can see the little Howl light. Let's see if I can lower that light again a bit. Nope, just wants to keep adjusting. <laughs> All right, but anyway, whoa. <laughs> Come on. Okay. But I'm going to go ahead and get the decal on it now. There we go. So that's about as close as you're going to see it on this camera. But there are some distinct lights, the little red one and the blue one in the, on the left side. So, okay. So I have that pretty well masked off. I'm going to go ahead and get the, the decal on it. And then we'll be able to get this painted and wrapped up. Okay. All right, and then there's the decal. And that went on really well. Come on, focus. There we go. All right, so I think that turned out a lot better. Focus. And my photo etch part. And I love the photo etch, don't get me wrong. But some of the parts, they just are a little more difficult to work with, something this tiny, especially if I'm trying to light it, which I'm doing. So, since I'm only using the decal and that's all the detail, I don't really need the photo etch detail anyway. So this went on a lot better and smoother on the smooth plastic. And I just painted some flat black into the parts that the decal didn't cover. Come on, focus on there. Okay. Alright, so let me light that up again and we'll take one more look at it. Alright, there we go. So you can kind of make out the distinct detail there with the light. Got a holder at the right angle. Okay. All right. So that turned out really well. And once again, <clears throat> it looks a lot cooler in person. Sorry, I can't get a a clear enough picture of that and see the distinct blue display on the left and the little red howl on the right. But you can kind of see it right there. Oh, it focuses. Come on. There we go. You can kind of see it right there. Okay, so this is all complete. I'm ready to stick this onto the floor and the other pieces for the platforms and start getting this put together. Okay. And here are the three uh, landing pads glued onto their brass rods. Uh, the two center ones. They're only very short rods, so they're going to eventually be glued into place once I get them painted. Uh, the one on the left extends, as I showed, and, uh, and that's going to be the one that comes out when I open up the, uh, the left pod bay door. All right, so getting these centered was a little tricky uh, because really the left one wasn't too hard because I could line it up with the holes in the back of the kit, in the back wall. So, and I actually drew some lines on the bottom of it so I could line it up. Uh, the center ones were a little harder because they didn't go all the way back and some of them were really small. So once I got them done, it was really hard. I first tried to just glue these onto the rod and stick them in and they just weren't centered right with a little, um, 
with the little parts that bend down that the rod goes in between. So what I ended up doing is taking them back off, um, sanding down those, um, those little metal clip pieces and just uh, putting the rods in first and putting some glue on them, lining them up with this and then just putting them on top and letting them dry so I can get them all centered. All right, so those are all pretty well dried. I'm gonna go ahead and get some black paint on these and then that'll pretty much finish these up and they'll be ready to go except for the pod that's going to be lit and wired to this. Okay, let me go ahead and get those painted. And here's the completed uh, painted pod platforms in place. There we go. Now, the one on the right in the center, they're just permanently in there. Uh, they're not going to come out, they don't extend. The one on the left does extend, and you can see out through here. In fact, I'll just show you. I press on the back. There we go. All right. And that will be able to be uh, pulled out from the outside and pushed back in through the pod, pod bay opening. And the center door and the left door are going to be made to open up. Working on some ideas for those. All right, so these are all ready to go. And I still have uh, I have that hole in this one where I'm gonna put that pod that's gonna be lit. And this whole piece will come out. So even when I get this all glued together, I'll still be able to pull that out and uh, finish putting the pod on it and wiring it in through the back before I put it together. So uh, let me go ahead and put this on top. Uh, in fact, let me get and glue it on top. I'm ready to do that now. It's all done. And I have the, um, the control panel that I just showed ready to go inside and go through that hole and glue in place too. Okay, let me get that done and I'll show you how that's going to look. All right, there we go. And so it's all glued together. I'll probably still go over this with a light, with a flat coat to dull that down. These are already flat so it won't really affect them um, before I get the, um, the control panel glued in place. Okay, but that's all glued down. It's all one piece. And then this whole piece will glue onto the back of the wall for the pod bay. And then these will stick through. These, I realized, are pretty long. I stuck it inside the, um, the kit, and they were kind of sticking towards the back. So I can cut these off. They don't have to be quite that long. I made them longer than I needed to just in case. But um, they don't have to be that long because I'm not going to extend it all that way out of the pod. But once again, there it is. So that sticks out. And that's pretty far out. I don't think that really needs to be that far at all. We can come in just a little bit. Probably be right about there for the pod to be coming out of it. So I can comfortably trim off a nice amount of these. And it, it can go inside. It doesn't have to be sticking out the end when it's extended. So, okay, great. So that's all done and ready to go. I just have to um, get that control panel glued onto there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is this, um, it's pretty much going to wrap it up for this week. Quite a lot of work completed as far as this whole section and the extendable pods and the control panel. Um, so then what I'll be working on next is to get this obviously connected to the rest of the pod bay interior and start putting that all together and then start working on the lights. So uh, let me wrap this up by putting the control panel onto this and we'll see how that's going to look. I'm not going to glue it in place, but I'll kind of put, put it onto there and show you how it's going to look. All right. Okay. So I decided to go ahead and get a flat coat on this and get the uh, control console glued in place. I guess it's also called like the workbench. Uh, so there we go. So I dolled down that sheen that I had put on for the decal. So now the rest of it matches the, the pod bay platforms. I have the uh, control panel in place, which looks really awesome. And like I said, I mean, you can see it pretty well in this video, but it's a, it's a crisp little red how light and a little blue screen next to it, which is really awesome. It really really makes that uh, that workbench pop. Okay, so uh, one more shot I want to show you. 
uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this up against the um, the pod bay walls. I'm not going to bend them into place yet and get them glued in yet, but let me put it up against there, and I'll show you how that's going to look as well. All right, all right, there we go. So I'm just kind of holding it in place, so it's not quite all aligned the way it ought to be. So, but uh, that's kind of what you're going to see. Uh, the white walls against the black floor with the white um, portions on the floor. A little control uh, workbench there in the middle with the light on it. And I've also put a flat coat on the back wall. So all those decals now have blended in. And they all look like they're natural. They're not glossy anymore, including the HD model work ones on the back. I dulled them down as well. I added one more decal there over to the left to kind of even out those yellow ones. All right. So there we go. It's coming along really nice. Uh, these are all complete, all the sub-assemblies, all the detail, the floor, the uh, workbench. All I have to do now is start getting this all glued together and come up with the lighting for the top. And so we'll be working on that next week. All right. So thanks again to all my subscribers. Uh, keep watching. Uh, we're definitely making some huge progress here. All right. Thank you.